for you. And then let's slide the hands underneath the lower back here and wiggle the sits bones apart. Feel the flesh pull out from underneath you. And you're welcome to bring the knees in towards each other. Maybe just for a moment here, you can relax, soften through the, the belly and the lower back. And then you're welcome to stay there or stretch the legs out long in Shavasana and arms down by our sides just for a few moments here to allow ourselves some time to rest and settle in and connect. So perhaps closing down the eyes and take some time to arrive and feel the weight of your body. Feel it release into the earth. Allowing ourselves to drop into the earth, drop into this moment with our breath. And just observing the natural rise and fall, just riding the wave of that breath. And perhaps moving toward the soft ujjayi pranayam. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose with the mouth closed, as if you're trying to breathe through your throat, creating a oceanic sound. Very deep and slow, audible breath. And really focusing on the exhales or lengthening, slowing down those exhales. We begin to feel the inhales naturally become a little bit more expansive. You can inhale a little bit more at the top as well. Maybe take a pause. And exhaling slowly, completely out. So this is also a very natural pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. Maybe continue this breath, resting your hands onto your low belly here. Or anywhere on your belly that feels comfortable. And Begin to really send the breath and expand the breath in that low belly. So sending it all the way down into the pelvic bowl and allow it to expand and balloon out. Continue this deep, slow breath, balancing the effort and the ease. Finding a breath that feels just right for you in this moment. Also see if we can continue to lengthen just a little more than we think we can. A very small, natural, comfortable pause between. And now placing the hands over your ribs on either side, take a few moments again, breathe into the space, into the rib cage and all the way to the bottom of the lungs. Let's see if we can empty out just a little bit more and then inhaling a little bit longer and a little more at the top. Little pause. Continue to just observe this natural rise and fall. And now just feeling the movement, the expansion at the rib cage. And then maybe placing now your left hand over your heart and right hand on your belly. Again, make sure your arm bones are relaxed, shoulders, 
elbows resting on the ground comfortably. And continue this nice, long, slow breath from the bottom of the belly all the way up to the top of the chest. From side to side, front and back, expanding fully. And then again, emptying slowly and completely. If the breath becomes even a little bit longer than the last. And just observing what we feel as we deepen this connection to our breath or spirit to our heart and soul, to our true nature. And to the earth and air. To ourselves and the world around us. One more deep, slow breath here. Take an inhale just a little more. A little more. Take another step in. Pause. And again, empty. Slowly, completely out. From that place, let's go ahead and slowly stretch our arms overhead behind us. Stretch your whole body as you inhale. And melt into the earth as you exhale. And then walking the feet back up onto the mat here. Now to go ahead, bring your um, toes to angle slightly inward and heel slightly outward. We're going to go ahead and press down into the feet, root down to rise up and maybe reach the arms out and overhead behind us as we inhale. Exhale, slowly bring the arms back up towards the ceiling and down as we bring the hips down together. Take another deep inhale. So a dynamic bridge, just lifting only as high as feels good. Exhaling, slowly bring the hips and arms together. Back to the earth. One more time. Inhale, root down. Reaching up. And this time as we exhale, we'll just bring the arms down. So keeping the hips raised up, let's um, bring the elbows sort of underneath us, kind of rolling the shoulders back a little bit and point our, our spread our fingers out. So a little bit like a robot here. And feel that connection through your feet, plugging into the earth, into all parts of your feet. Again, the knees are pointing straight forward and the heels are slightly out. So you can feel, again, that connection to your inner thighs here as well. And then we exhale halfway down or um, almost to the mat and just hover and then lift back up. And remember, we're not lifting so high that we're arching our backs or um, pinching the back in any way. Inhale down, exhale, root into the feet to rise. Inhale, exhale. So we'll just continue this dynamic um, Bridge, squeezing the glutes, the hamstrings, the inner thighs, getting nice and warm here, right from the start. Inhaling, exhaling. And if you feel any tension in your back, feel free to um, modify this or, or rest instead if you need to. Um, don't lift the hips quite as high and focus again on really pressing down through the feet all parts of those feet. Continue breathing through this. And then we'll take the last one here, all the way up, or on, again, again, as high as feels good. And then we're gonna let the knees kind of knock up, lean away from each other, and then back to center where they started. Out, so externally rotating hips, and then coming back to neutral. External rotation and back to neutral. So you will start to feel this a little bit more in your glutes, those external rotators, and maybe the inner thighs. Continue breathing deeply. And 
Again, feel free to rest or lower the hips anytime you need to. You can always regroup and come back. Maybe backing off just a little bit if you need. A couple more. Extra rotation, back to neutral spine or back to neutral hips. One more time. And then from here, if you can interlace the fingers underneath you and roll the shoulders back even more. Press into both feet equally. Now be belly breath. Couple more. Filling the belly fully, expanding, and then drawing navel towards spine. Take one last deep breath here. And as we exhale, slowly, slowly coming down, you can release the hands and the shoulders and release from there. So let's bring the feet as wide apart as the mat again, or wider than hip distance, and let the knees gently windshield white. And fall to one side and then the other. Side to side a little bit. And then from there, we'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides for a moment. Just let the inner thighs rest here. Wiggle the sit bones apart, pull the flesh out from underneath. All right, so keeping the inner thighs uh, a little bit awake and engaged for our next practice will be nice. Um, we're gonna cross now the right leg over top of the left. <clears throat> and maybe wrapping the toes back behind. So if you can wrap your right toes behind the left ankle, um, go ahead and do that. If not, that's okay, just cross the legs. And then from here, you wanna keep the knees again, uh, also stacked directly above the hips. Right arm from here underneath the left, crossing elbows and maybe um, bringing the palms together uh, or fingers together here, or you can just wrap your arms around your shoulders. And from there, we're going to inhale, lengthen the spine in your eagle pose. As we exhale, we're going to press down through the low ribs and lift your heart and chest towards the legs. Inhale, exhale. So the legs are going to stay. Where they are, inhale, exhale. I'm just gonna engage through the core or the center of your body, inhale, exhale. To lift the heart and chest, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And really powerful exhale through the mouth, making that SH sound. Again, that helps us to engage the transverse abdominus. And last one here, inhale, exhale, stay up. We're gonna inhale a little higher from your center, from your core, exhale here. One more time, inhale, feel this burn in your center. And then exhale. Releasing the arms, go ahead and release the legs. Let's bring your bottom over to the right side. So kind of just shift your hips over there and then bring your knees together and over to the left side. You're gonna open up the right arm, turning your gaze over the right shoulder, release the neck. And some nice deep cleansing breaths. We wanna also make sure that right hip gets all the way over and stacked on top of the left hip. So the pelvis is congruent. Hips are truly square to where they're facing. And we can spiral upward through the spine from there. One more deep breath. All right, from there, we'll gently come back to the center here. Let's bring your feet down and move your hips all the way back to the center of the, the mat. And then just go ahead and windshield wipe once again, a little bit side to side. Reset those hips, stretch out the side waist. Same thing now, we're gonna take the left leg over top of the right, crossing the left ankle, sorry, the left toes around the right ankle. 
knees stacked above the hips and left arm underneath the right. So it's opposite of the legs, eagle pose. Inhaling, lengthen here. Exhale, root down into your core. Lift the heart. Inhale. Exhale. We want to keep the ankles also slightly either in line with the knees or slightly above the knees. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And connect to that powerful center. Last one. Let's inhale a little higher. Exhale here. Inhale just a little higher from your core. And exhale. Releasing once again, release the legs. We're going to bring the hips again all the way over to your left side. Bring the knees over to your right side, stacking that left hip all the way on top. Open up through your left arm and chest, easing over the left shoulder. Deep cleansing breath. One more deep breath here, lengthening that breath. Exhaling, slowly out, coming back through center. And once again, we'll bring the feet down onto the back, kind of recenter those hips. A little windshield wipe of the knees. If you need to, bring your hands here back behind the neck and gently massaging out with your fingertips. Massage the neck. Oh, deep breaths. All right, let's go ahead from there. We're going to um, either rock and roll ourselves up or roll onto your side to come all the way up. And we'll swing the legs around. We'll come onto our bellies here for a few moments. <clears throat> so we'll come into a sphinx pose, resting on the belly, elbows directly underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers out nice and wide and pressing into the fingertips as well. Lengthen those legs nice and long and strong. Keep them about hip distance apart, pointing through the toes here as well. And root down into our pelvis tailbone towards the earth. Take a nice inhale when you're ready. Looking up between the brows, just stretching the abdominals a little bit. Exhale, let's look over the shoulder. One shoulder, tail down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, look over the shoulder. We keep the belly lifted slightly and your legs strong still. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Let's go and curl, tucking the chin in towards the throat, keeping that tailbone pressing down. We're just rounding through upper back and neck. Again, deep, slow breath in, lengthening. And exhale, curling through the upper spine here. One more time, nice inhale, lengthen. And exhale and curl. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna go ahead and slay out the hands nice and wide apart with the elbows pointing up. I'm actually gonna take this facing you. We're gonna <laughs> first press into those fingertips. Legs are long and strong behind you again. As you inhale, tuck the chin and slowly roll up to your head is the last thing to rise. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower the heart. It's okay if you don't go up as high. You can adjust the, adjust the hands where you need to as well. Again, inhale, curling up. Exhale, slowly down. This time, once we curl up, we're going to inhale for it. As we exhale, we're going to bring one shoulder forward, look over the opposite shoulder. So here, you might need to spread your hands out a little wider. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, bring the other shoulder forward. Look back over the opposite shoulder. 
Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale. From here, we're gonna bend into your left knee. I'll go ahead and mirror you. So bend into your left knee and start to bring your foot behind you and lift up just like halfway, not all the way up. And then we're gonna stay on our fingertips and do some fingertip push-ups here with a slight twist. Now, if this isn't too much on the back, you can also do this uh, with the leg straight behind you. This is just gonna add a little bit more weight towards that uh, right arm. So you're gonna feel this in the right uh, shoulder and chest in the pecs, breathing through. Now remember, don't go beyond the elbows, stacking above the wrists. So sh shoulders do not lower uh, past the, where the elbows bend. Okay, and come back through center. Same thing, we're gonna bend. Maybe go ahead and take a, a little curl up through center. And again, neutralize the spine. Exhale. Same thing, we're gonna bend into the right knee and then start to just shift, push onto your finger to shift that foot behind you a little bit with the bent knee. It's like a little attitude. Breathing through. And again, we're gonna take these fingertip push-ups, going no lower than where the elbow bends at 90 degree angle. So we should feel this in the shoulder and the chest, but it shouldn't go um, be overextending here. Deep breaths, keep your belly lifted, navel towards spine, start to feel that chest here as well. And then slowly come back through center. Let's tuck the chin, inhale, lengthen the spine. Tailbone pressing down into the earth. Exhale. Go ahead and bring the arms back behind us. And lay your head onto one side. Turn your head to one side. A couple deep breaths here. And also bend into the elbows a little bit. Relax the shoulders. Long, smooth breaths. Feel the belly press into the earth as you inhale into the back body. Just feel that rise and fall through the back body here. Slowing down, lengthening each breath. And you're welcome to stay there. Or if you'd like to stretch out the shoulders behind you, interlace the opposite forefinger and thumb on top. So the opposite of what we did um, in the bridge pose. Roll those shoulders back. Pressing down through our tailbone and our feet. So the tops of the feet pressing into the earth. As we inhale, just lengthen your spine. If you'd like to lift the heart center up, you're welcome to. You can also keep the chin tucked in towards the throat and have a Jalandara Bandha there. Another deep breath here and exhale, release the arms. We'll turn the head to the other side. Again, deep cleansing breaths into the back body here. Long and smooth. Empty out just a little bit more with your next exhale. And then inhaling, filling up a little bit more. Take another sip at the top of that inhale. Inflate out. And last exhale. Empty everything. Let's go ahead and bring the hands underneath you. Squeeze the triceps into the ribs or towards the rib cage. And press into those fingertips as we inhale, press up onto the knees and exhale. Let's come back to a neutral spine here onto your hands and knees. Sending the inner thighs up and back. Nice deep, slow inhale here, lengthening. And again, as we exhale, we can look back towards the tailbone. 
Release the neck, inhale back through center. And exhale, look back the other side. Inhale back through center. And exhale, send the hips back towards the heels here. Big toes touching. You can um, keep the knees supporting underneath you and stretching the lower back uh, more. Or you can also separate the knees further apart if you need to open up the hips a little bit more. So do what feels right for you today. And see if we can rest our forehead onto something here. A couple deep breaths. Again, sending it into the back body. Feel the belly press against the thighs, inflating out fully all the way into the back body. Emptying out completely. All right, we'll come back to this. Slowly rolling up, so dragging the arms and the hands. Vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling up through the spine. We'll keep the eyes closed and the gaze inward. Just take a moment to notice what you feel. Maybe open the mouth. Releasing. Let's go ahead and bring the legs out from underneath you. And we'll go ahead and cross the legs here. And just, um, we'll come into that chakra activation um, a little bit here as well. So pulling the flesh out from underneath as we cross the legs. Or again, you're welcome to find a seated position on a blanket or chair or some other prop that serves you. And from here, we'll go ahead and root down through the seat as we take a nice inhale, reach up and exhale. Come back to the heart center, rooting down, inhale. And exhale. Take one more deep breath here. And as we exhale, go ahead and lower your right arm and up and over. So as you root down through the seat, lengthen through the side body. Stretch up and over. And then slowly coming up, inhale. Exhale, we're going to come up and over to the other side directly. Ooh, down to that seat. Again, inhale up. Exhale. So just slowing from side to side, inhale. Feel that connection to the earth and the lake. So it's kind of that push and pull feeling again. Inhale, rooting down. Exhale. This time from here, we're going to sweep it around through the upper back over to your right. Inhaling there, exhaling as we sweep over to the left. So you got to really stay rooted to your hips, rooted to the earth, through your legs, through your feet. Exhale as we come forward or sweep and then inhale as we stretch. Let's try that one more time. Staying rooted down into our seat. Inhaling over, exhaling, sweep, inhaling up, sorry, over, and exhale. From here, let's go to an inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, we'll take a gentle twist over to your right, right arm behind you. Rooting down as we inhale, grow taller. Exhale, twist from your core. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling. And root down as you reach back up, inhale. Exhale, when you're ready, twist to the other side. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhale, gentle twist. One more deep breath. Exhaling. And, and then from here, holding on to the knees, we'll take a nice inhale. Stay rooted to the seat, exhale. Inhale, very gentle cat-cow in your seated posture. Last time. And here maybe we take a small circle around. And again, let's have this be more about massaging the internal organs versus trying to make a really big stretchy circle here. So just listening to your, your lower back um, and anything else that may feel uh, uh, slightly 
on edge or anything like that, any joints that might be tender. And then circling around the other direction when you're ready. Breathing through this, really grounding. And helping to loosen up and release anything that may be stuck or held here in the lower body. I'm going to shake out the legs here when you're ready. Wiggle out. Shake out the knees, whatever feels good for you. And then we'll rock onto those sits bones here. And bring the hands to fists maybe. And gently thump. Uh, or as hard as you like, whatever feels good for you. Something up and down the legs, shaking it up, moving anything that may be stuck or held here, waking up those energy channels. And let's go ahead and take the hands to the tops of the feet, gently drag the hands once again up towards the center of your body. Helping to raise this energy up and out. Deep breaths. You can maybe feel, maybe sit back onto your hands and feel the subtlety, subtle energy in your body. And heck, maybe if you'd like to just lay on your back for a moment, just shake out, shake out your arms and legs. Shake everything up. Shaking can actually be a really therapeutic way to release any held or stuck traumas in the body. Animals actually do this naturally when they're traumatized, their whole body naturally um, unconsciously shake until they have released it and then they do deep breathing. It's a really interesting thing to see. Okay, and then go ahead and just rest here. You can rest your feet onto the ground to take a moment. Notice what you feel. And then rolling back onto your side, we'll come back up slowly. And let's go ahead and sit back onto your heels here. So sitting onto your knees or a chair if you need. Hands to your thighs, we're gonna take a nice inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. Now we're going to take a more of a heart pumping breath and quicken the pace, but of course you can always um, slow this back down, go at your own speed, but we want a nice powerful breath with this and it may not, it's going to be a smaller, since it's quicker, a smaller activation here in your core. If you can breathe in and out through the nose, powerful exhales especially. And the inhales will sort of naturally take care of itself with that powerful exhale. It's also helpful to close down the eyes and bring your attention, your, your inner gaze towards your third eye between the brows. So this is the space where we can help to widen our lens, widen our perspective, find a little bit more of a holistic or whole picture view on things, or maybe a new perspective that we haven't um, yet seen before. This is also the area where we're it's known to be where we connect to our intuition. Mm -hmm. 
or drawing energy up towards that energy center. When you're ready, take your next deep inhale. Going back to a neutral spine, inhaling a little bit more. Now hold the breath and find the root lock, Mula Bandha, belly lock, Uddiyana Bandha, and the chin lock, Jawandara Bandha. So we're finding uh, the locks to help uh, contain all of this energy in the center of the body, allow it to do its work, its healing. And just observe as we hold the breath here, lifting everything inward and upward. And as we exhale, slowly release the locks and just observe what you feel. You may like to rest the backs of your hands into your thighs and just take a few moments to receive as you breathe. And then from here, we'll move upward towards the heart center, bringing the uh, thumbs behind us and the forefingers wrapped around the front of the shoulders here, elbows staying straight up or straight out. So as we inhale, very gently twist to your left, exhale to the right. Start nice and slow and allow your head and your neck to gently release in the direction of your twist. So. This may be as fast as you go, or you may even want to go slower, but still see if we can pump the breath. And as it feels more comfortable for you, you do want to make sure you're rooting down through the legs so that your legs aren't moving around, but you can slowly either um, pick up the pace a little bit or increase your twist just depending on what feels good and right. But this should feel nice and easy. Not too much, not too little. And the core is involved and engaged here, especially on that exhale, pumping inward and upward. Again, these twists help us to detoxify and release anything that no longer serves. Our old stories or false narratives that do not serve us. Any fears or anxieties. And helps us to, again, find a new perspective and trust in our, our truth and our core in the center of our being. So we root to the earth and root to that core and that center. So we come back to center, inhaling a little bit more. Inhaling a little more. Hold the breath again, find the locks. So lifting in and upward, finding our sort of Kegel muscles or the muscles that help to uh, cut off urination and navel to spine and then chin towards the throat. Locking everything in, hold it there. For three, two, Exhale, release, slowly back down. Again, if you'd like to, let the backs of the hands rest onto the sides. Take a moment, observe what you feel as you breathe. Allow yourself to soften and become receptive. And to again, be an open space of love and compassion for whatever arises not becoming attached to any sensation or thought or feeling. Just observe. 
and appreciate perhaps. From there, we'll bring the legs out from underneath you, shake it out. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we'll cross the opposite leg in the front this time. So finding perhaps the um, cross leg position that feels a little bit less comfortable or not as natural for us. Rooting down through that seat. Let's go ahead from here, bring the hands to the shoulders and we're gonna circle the elbows all the way around, forward, up, back and around. We wanna try to find our full range of motion here. Circumducting the shoulders. Try to find like you're trying to reach your elbows to every possible direction and corner of the room. Feel the shoulders activate, get nice and warm. And then circling around the opposite direction here a few times. Beautiful, from there, let's go ahead and bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, all the way around. One more time. Exhale. Bring the hands to the thighs and inhale, shoulders up by the ears, exhale, drop. So back to that heart pumping breath. Deep cleansing breath. And you can close down the eyes, bring your attention, your awareness to the third eye center between the brows. You can also lift it up towards the crown of the head as well. So with the eyes closed, you feel your eyes kind of roll into the back of the head. Deep inhale, squeeze. Inhale a little bit more. Hold the breath again. Find the locks, chin lock, root lock, belly lock. Hold it here for three, two. Exhaling slowly out. Take a few breaths. And if you'd like to rest the backs of your hands onto the thighs or knees, take a moment. And relax, bringing the chin in towards the throat again. Slowly begin to perhaps either roll your head or turn your head in whatever way feels good for you. Just bring some movement back to the neck, a nice stretch, very slowly. Maybe you'd like to start to circle uh, the nose around. So following your nose all the way around and back down. Again, only circling your head and neck if it feels good for you. If not, find something that does feel good and helps to stretch your neck and shoulders. Very passive, relaxed way here with your breath. And circling around. When you're ready in the opposite direction, or perhaps moving in a new way. And just listening to your body, what it that's asking for. Mm. 
And whenever you're ready there, inhaling, root down to reach back up toward the sky. Exhale, bring your thumbs to the third eye, gently press against that chakra, and then back to the heart center. And then deep inhale, root down, reach up. Exhaling, gently pressing. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Another way to help to stimulate the chakra there is also to rest your forehead onto something in your poses, right? So like in child's pose. <clears throat> We're going to bring the legs, shake it out first, and bring the legs around you um, uh, so that your toes are curled under here, sitting back into the heels. And this is also to help uh, that big toe extension, which is so important for walking properly uh, and also for the spine, keeping our bottom really back behind us here and a slight lift in the belly or the low belly here. Let's go ahead and bring our hands to mudra again. That Lotus Mudra, where the thumbs and pinkies are connected <clears throat> and sort of open out in this and blossom into this lotus with our hands. So spreading the fingers nice and wide at the heart center. Take a moment, closing the eyes down. Observe what you feel as you breathe. So sort of allowing this gesture of being receptive to receiving here as well. It's like this cup that we're allowing to be filled up. And with our next breath, let's raise this blossom up as we inhale up overhead. And as we exhale, pressing and grounding back down the palms around us. So again, deep inhale. We're drawing up our truth. Exhale and grounding anything, again, that may no longer serve or maybe our past or old story. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, any false narratives. Just grounding it down one more time. Deep inhale as we raise up our true self and our hearts. Exhale. Mm. Releasing from there, we'll come onto your hands and knees, separate the knees and the toes as we circle them around. And circle the other way. And then relax the feet there, shaking it out. Connecting to that highest chakra, so the, crown of, the crown chakra there, the crown of the head. So from here, we're going to go ahead and rest onto, maybe bring your hands out wide, rest onto the very top of your head here, <clears throat> or the crown of the head. And make sure your neck is comfortable. Your hips are stacked above knees. If you'd like to, you can also stretch interlacing the fingers behind you and roll the shoulders back. You can stretch the shoulders here. Just make sure that uh, there's a uh, comfortable amount of compression here, not too much on the neck, but that you can feel some pressure on the crown of your head as you breathe. If you need to keep your hands down for support, you're welcome to do that. A couple more breaths. Very soothing, uh, down-regulating posture. That also helps to raise our energy or what's to come. Relaxing or releasing the hands down if they're not already, we'll slowly sit back into the heels. And once again, resting your forehead onto something, whether it be your hands or your fists or a block or just onto the ground. Take a few moments here, observe what you feel as you breathe deeply. Also with a sense of humility and gratitude for this connection that we have to all that is. What we are a part of. 
and what we share in common with one another. This breath of life. Earth. And from here, slowly curling back up onto your hand or rolling through your spine, sitting back into your heel. Take a moment and observe. All right, very nice. From here, let's root down through the knees. Take a deep inhale, reach up overhead. At, so we can circle the arms all the way around. And then come onto the hands and knees once more. Deep, slow inhale. Send the inner thighs up and back, looking up between the brows. And as we exhale, slowly curl the toes under and very slowly begin to stretch up and back towards down the facing dog. Now feel free here to separate your hands and feet as wide apart as you like, even as wide apart as the mat. This is a really nice way to ease into down dog, especially if the, the shoulders or the hamstrings or any part of the legs or hips are tight. Um, or if it's your first downward dog of the day, this is a really nice way to ease into it. So we can walk the feet here in place or do whatever feels good. Starting with a nice wide stance can feel really nice. You can always stay this wide if you're still feeling tight as well. Gradually, uh, when you feel ready, you can bring your feet to uh, hip distance. So let's go ahead from here, walk the feet forward all the way to the top of your mat when you're ready. Take your next inhale, coming up halfway, let's send the inner thighs up and back. And as you do that, feel the lift in your pelvic floor and a nice flat back. You can even press the thigh bones back at the same time. Take a deep breath in without locking your knees. Exhale and deep in your fold. Bend your knees as much as you need. Rooting down through both feet. Let's take a nice deep, slow inhale. Let's reach up. Exhale, bringing the arms down by our sides of Tadasana. Again, deep inhale, reach up. As we exhale, let's bring the right arm under the left. Crossing elbows and wrists. Inhale, stretching fingertips toward the sky, navel to spine, maybe arching the upper back. Look up. Exhale, we'll bend the knees and bow forward, fold. And go ahead and tuck the chin in between the arms here and take some deep cleansing breaths there. As you stretch again, just finding a stretch that feels just right. So bending the knees as needed. <sighs> Let the arms, the head, the shoulders hang heavy. And then go ahead and release the arms here, interlacing the fingers once again behind you. Stretch the shoulders. Another deep breath here. And as we exhale, slowly soften, release the arms. Inhale, lengthen the spine. As we exhale, go ahead and step your right leg back into a deep lunge. So big step back through a warrior three and then lightly landing. Lower that right knee down. Uncurl the back toes. Let's take a nice inhale. Uh, lift up through the belly as you reach up. Andrinyasana. And as we exhale, float the arms back down. I'm going to curl the back toes under and spin that right heel down so the toes are pointed out. And then walk your left foot out just slightly over towards the left side of the mat. So the hips are really square here in warrior one. Hips square to the front. You can adjust the footing so that you feel your your cent your weight is center between both legs. And tailbone is dropping down, pubic bone lifting upward as we inhale. We can bend into that front knee as far as feels good. Again, we wanna to try to keep the outer edge of that back foot planted, rooting towards the earth. So we're also lifting up that inner arch of the foot as we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's bring the hands uh, behind the head. Keep the ribs in as we inhale it. Widen the elbows across. Widen the shoulders, widen the chest. Exhale, bow forward, prepare. Interlace the fingers behind you, yoga mudra. Uh, stretching through the shoulders. Bow your head again, coming towards the inside of your front thigh. But you want to keep your left butt shape pulling inward and backward. We don't want to let that left hip poke out to the side here. Pull it in and back. 
Another deep breath here in Humble Warrior. And exhale, slowly releasing down. We're gonna turn that back leg in. Hips are square, press into the fingertips here as we inhale, step back into plank pose. As we exhale, come up onto your tippy toes. We can lower halfway down, elbow stacking above the wrist. You can also lower the knees. Halfway down, hold, and then release towards the earth. Roll the shoulders back, point the toes as we inhale to cobra. Squeezing those triceps in, tailbone down, down, and then exhale down. Inhale, we can reverse the push-up either onto the knees or into a full plank. Exhale, let's lift the hips high, bend the knees into bear pose. Stretching through the shoulders, downward facing dog. So remember, we wanna keep the shoulders externally rotated, so turning out from the shoulder and then protracting <clears throat> shoulder blades away from each other. So you're gonna feel like you're lifting your shoulders up to your ears and then pressing your upper back upward a little bit. At the same time, we're still lifting the hips high away from those shoulders. Again, we can also bend the knees as much as you need to. Breathe. That right leg's gonna slowly and gently Float up onto your tippy toes, outer thigh and pinky toe rolling down. And then exhale, thigh to your chest, let's lift that heel nice and high. And step it forward when you're ready. Lower that left knee down to low lunge, uncurl the toes. We'll inhale, Anjanyasana, low lunge. And exhale, fold. Let's go ahead from here, we're gonna lift off the back knee and push forward. Bow forward, fold. So you can feel a difference perhaps already between uh, the two legs. Rooting down through your feet as we inhale, root to rise up. And exhale, arms down by our sides. Tadasana, inhale, root through the feet, reach up. Exhale, let's bring the left arm underneath the right, cross elbows and wrists. And inhale again, fingertips towards the sky. We can root down through the feet, tailbone down as we lift the heart up. And our gaze up, exhale, bow forward with a flat back, bend into your knees. Again, as much as you need to, tuck the chin, deep cleansing breaths between the arms as we let the arms and head be heavy. Shoulders heavy, breathing deeply. As the shoulders sort of melt and release here, you can begin to stretch the legs only as much as feels good. And then when you're ready, release the arms, and release the opposite forefinger and thumb on top once more. Deep stretch as we inhale, deep breath. And exhale, release. Inhale, lengthening the spine halfway. Exhale, big step back with the left leg. So again, through your warrior three, <clears throat> and then we bend into the front knee and land quietly as we can onto our mat and lower that left knee down again and curl the back toes. Inhale to Anjing Nasana. Lifting your core, lifting your belly, then your heart. Exhale. We're going to lift that back knee off the ground. Turn the toes out, heel in. Walk your right foot slightly out towards the right side of your mat, just a little bit. And then pull your right hip in and back, left hip forward. So we were warrior one again. Pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Lifting up through the inner arch, lifting up through the pelvic floor here. Tailbone is really drawing down. Take a nice deep inhale, lift your belly, lift your heart. And exhale, sorry, hands behind the head. Again, we want to keep the ribs in as we inhale, expand and widen side to side, stretching the chest. And as we exhale, bow forward, then release the arms, interlace the opposite fingers, rolling the shoulders back. So from here, it's easy to kind of push that right hip back or out and stick it out. We wanna pull it in and then pull it back at the same time. So you'll feel your right glute really start to burn and your right inner thigh perhaps here too. So pull it in and back behind you. Deep cleansing breaths. And we're not resting on the thigh. We're coming to the inside of it using our core here. Really stabilizing, really hugging the midline. Take one more breath. Exhaling, releasing the hands. Again, we're gonna turn that back leg in. 
Press into the fingertips as we inhale, back to plank pose. Exhale, we can go tippy toes, halfway chaturanga, and then release down. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, squeeze in, tailbone down, lift the heart. Exhale, reverse the push-up. Remember, you can also just do a cat-cow or rest in child's pose there. Downward facing or bear pose first. And then downward facing dog. Press into those fingertips, lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Lengthen the sides of your body, lift those hips high, even if you have to bend those knees a lot. Deep cleansing breaths as you plug in through the hands and feet, plug into the earth. Up onto the tippy toes again, inhale, left leg up and back, outer thigh and pinky toe pointing to the ground. Exhale, side of chest, lift that heel high. Step it forward, lower that right knee. Uncurl the toes, lift your core up as you inhale. Belly lifts away from the thigh, Anjani Asana. And exhale, hands down. Lift that back knee, step it forward. Inhaling, lengthening, halfway rise. Exhale and deep in your fold. Let's root down through both feet again. Inhale, root to rise up. Exhale, let's come to Tadasana. Mountain pose. From here, we're going to bring the feet a little wider than hip distance. Sit back into your chair. Knees uh, back behind the toes, maybe coming onto your fingertips here. Root down through both feet strongly. Longer, smoother breaths. We're going to shift our weight over towards the left foot. Mm. Actually, let's before that, let's bring the hands to the heart center and shift our weight to the left foot here to lift the right heel. But keep those knees back. Yeah, keeping knees back here. And then if and when you feel ready, crossing, lifting the belly, crossing the right leg on top of the left, maybe wrapping the toes back, maybe not, it's not necessary. Keep squeezing those inner thighs together, knees together. Hands can stay at the heart center here. And we're always scooping, lifting up the gut uh, and our pelvic floor. Right arm maybe perhaps crossing underneath the right, sorry, right underneath the left, coming into full eagle. And finding a gazing point or drishti to keep our eyes steady and our breath steady. Something that's not going to move on you. So feel from your hips down that you're sort of drilling yourself down into the earth. And from your belly up, especially that pelvic floor, you're lengthening whoop, upward towards the sky. It's okay if we fall out of it. Come back when you're ready. Root down. You will start to feel that nice burning sensation, burning up anything that no longer serves. Scoop that belly in. Keep your eyes steady. One more breath here. As we exhale, we're going to uncross the legs. Keep your arms in eagle. Push through the heel. Push the heel away from the crown. Lift your core. Feel that left glute, that standing leg, outer side, pinky toe rolling down. Stay there. Again, eyes steady, breath steady. Lift that belly. Push the heel away from the crown of the head, crown of the head away from the heel. One more breath. Exhale from here. We're going to step it back into your warrior one, which we've already set up. Scoop the belly in. Inhale, eagle arms reach up. Exhale, release the arms in a full circle around. Inhale, palms to prayer. Exhale, thumbs to your chest. And pinkies to your thighs. So I want you to spread <clears throat> the fingers really wide. Pressing thumbs to chest. Pressing pinkies to thigh. Staying here. Then feel that real deep lift in your gut and your pelvic floor. You'll feel this left glute, right? Standing leg. Stay with that breath here or if you want to. Try flying a little bit. So we're going to shift the weight forward and spread through your right toes to lift the right leg. Lift your belly to lift the right leg. I should say lift your core. Deep, slow breath. Spread the toes. Fly. Keeping the left knee bent. Right leg long. One more breath. Exhale. Slowly step it back. <clears throat> Deep lunge. Lower that right knee down. 
Um, curl the toes. Let's press into the top of the foot. Lengthen that back leg. Take another breath. Exhale, lower. Inhale, start to stretch your front leg out here. As we exhale, we can wiggle that front foot forward. Right thigh bone lifts up and forward towards the left leg. Deep, slow breaths. Now, if you want to help to loosen the hamstrings a little bit, you can also move in the stretch a little bit uh, or mobilize in the stretch. So externally, turning your toes out and in towards the center. So externally and internally rotating from the hip. And that kind of helps us to just loosen up a little bit. Move with breath, circle, maybe the toes around a little bit if that feels good. And then again, from here, we want to make sure the hips stay truly square. So we relift that right thigh, that back thigh bone up and forward towards that front foot. Slow, deep breaths. So we maybe find a little bit of stillness here. Some of you might like to reach forward a little bit more towards your full splits pose. So we're in Ardha Hanumanasana. You can always move towards Hanumanasana if you have the support. Uh, maybe some blocks here or, and of course, if, you're, if your body allows your breath is also allowing. There's a softness. Moving towards that edge, but not uh, so fast and furious or trying to go beyond it. Again, just softening to where we can feel something, not too much, not too little. Breathing deeply. Let time, breath, gravity do the work. It's pretty interesting if you think about it, time, breath, and gravity will do its work anyway, but it may not be in the way that you want. So just allowing that, you're sort of guiding towards uh, more radiant health through the breath, time, and gravity. Take one more deep breath here when you're ready. Lengthening and exhaling to lunge. From there, spread the fingers nice and wide again. We're gonna stretch back to downward facing dog. And just feel, again, the difference between the right and left side. Root into both hands and feet. Root to the earth. When you're ready, the left leg's gonna come up towards the sky, opening the hip this time. We're gonna bend that left knee, stacking left knee above the right hip. So we wanna open the hips but not the shoulders. So keep the shoulders square by pressing into both hands equally. Really plug into both hands and fingertips, both sides equally. Keeping that left shoulder towards the earth in line with your right shoulder. Left knee's gonna come towards you. Oh, sorry, left knee's gonna come towards the left shoulder. And then from there, foot towards the right wrist, hip square. So we're gonna hover here a little bit in our floating pigeon. And then slowly come down, hip square to the front in our uh, pigeon pose. So I'm curling the back foot. Let's pull that right thigh bone forward, left thigh bone back. Scoop the belly in as we take our next inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhaling, bow forward, fold gently. So flexing that left ankle a lot to protect that left knee joint. Um, and also ensuring that our weight is right center between both hips, not rolling over to one side or the other. Um, and a good way to check that is to make sure that right thigh bone or that back thigh bone is coming forward towards it. If there is any um, discomfort or pressure on the knee, just go ahead and lie back into your figure four with the left foot on top and flex that left ankle. Or you can find another way to stretch the hip, whatever feels best for you. 
So just take a few more moments here with your breath. And see if we can soften a little bit more with each exhale. And allow ourselves to fill up and be full with each inhale. You can also rest your forehead <clears throat> onto something. You might even, <clears throat> excuse me, you might even bring your thumbs to gently press into that third eye. Let's find what feels good for you. It's a really nice pressure point as well to help release. Tension. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take your next deep, slow inhale here when you're ready. Rooting down to rise up. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and swing that right leg forward, that back leg all the way around. So the right leg is on top of the left. And rooting down through both sits bones. If you need to extend your bottom leg out from underneath you to get onto both sits bones, that's totally uh, appropriate. <clears throat> as a modification right on behind you. Left arm up when you're ready, inhale, stretch through the left side of the body. As we exhale again, hug the thigh in, scoop again, it's really deep in your core, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist from that, sort of bringing out some tension in your core and spiral upward. So again, the most tension here is at the base of the spine and in your core. The rest of the spine should feel free to move a little bit, but not to the point of pain or beyond its mobility. And then releasing from there. Let's go ahead. Um, let's take a little gentle twist the opposite way too. So we'll bring the right hand to the left, uh, right hand to the right foot, left arm behind. Inhale, stack tall. Exhale, gently over the other shoulder. Okay, and then from there, we'll just swing that front leg all the way back again to your pigeon. Spread the fingers wide. Step it back to downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breaths here. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like or take a child's pose if you need it. Inhale, we can come up onto the tippy toes and from our pelvic floor, roll forward into plank pose. Lengthening, inhaling again. Exhale, slowly lower chaturanga or knees, chin, chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, reverse that push up. Press it up. Hover in your bear. Down or facing dog. E cleansing breaths. Feel the difference between the right and left side again. Take a few moments there or walk it forward when you're ready. Deep breaths. Let's inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, deep in your fold. Root through both feet as we inhale to rise up. Reach up to prayer. Exhale, arms down by your sides to dasana. Maybe again, take a moment, notice what you feel here. Next deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, we'll bow forward, fold. Again, we'll separate the feet. Maybe just slightly wider. Sit the hips all the way back, knees back, butt back into your chair pose. And feel again, as you flatten the back, you're sucking the belly in and up, supporting it. Hands to the heart when you're ready. All right, so go ahead and stay there at the top of your mat. I may move around to just help give you a point of reference. Uh, belly lifts. 
pressing into that right foot. Now we lift the left heel, keeping knees back behind the toes. We keep lifting up from the core, crossing left leg on top. Maybe wrapping the toes back, maybe not. And again, here we're squeezing the inner thighs and knees together while we pull the belly in and butt back. Deep cleansing breaths. You're welcome to stay here with the hands in prayer or on the hips. Left arm can come underneath the right, crossing elbows and wrists, so it's opposite of the legs. <clears throat> and as we sit back, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> as we sit back, the elbows can raise up. Keep that lift in your center. Breathe deeply. Find your gazing point, your drishti. Eyes steady, breath steady. Keep that core lifting, hugging the midline. And if and when you feel ready here, we're pressing down into that right foot. Flex the left ankle. Push through the heel. So pushing the heel away from the crown of the head. Crown of the head forward away from the heel. Strong standing leg and glutes. <clears throat> Deep cleansing breath. You can stay there. <clears throat> Couple more breaths. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scoop that belly in, flat back one more breath here. Exhale, bend the front knee as you step back into your warrior one. Inhale, scoop that belly in, reach up, elbows up towards the sky. Exhale, release the arms, palms to prayer all the way around. <clears throat> From there, thumbs to the heart center. Spreading the fingers wide, pinkies to your thigh. Again, keep it all, keep your corset on nice and tight. Keep that lift in your gut. Deep belly breaths. Deep ujjayi breaths. Audible oceanic breath. Staying here, keep that right glute strong, or if you want to test out your flight a little bit, lift, sorry, leap forward onto that front leg, scoop that belly in as you lift the back leg, keep the right knee bent, almost like you're diving forward, spread through the toes, take one more breath here, exhale, slowly step it back, deep lunge, lower that back knee, and curl the toes. Root down into that back foot to lift the knee, pressing into the top of the foot, and then release. Inhaling here. Exhale, let's stretch that front leg out. Wiggle it forward. Left thigh bone coming up and forward here as well. Slow, deep breaths. So toes turning out, away, and the back in towards the midline. Externally, internally rotating the hip. Finding a little bit of movement through there and circle maybe the toes around. Deep breaths. And then again here, maybe you find your way back through center. We relift that left thigh bone up and forward as we perhaps come forward towards our full Hanumanasana, towards our split toes, or just stay here in half Hanumanasana, again, listening to your body. <clears throat> and rather what we need today versus what our ego thinks it needs or wants. Just breathing, listening to the sensations, listening to our bodies. Listening to breath. And sometimes we may be the type that are always really safe, right? And we never kind of listen to our bodies when it says, leap forward, go forward, do a little more. So it may not always just be holding um, or backing off a little bit from our um, competitive sides or our egos, but it may be listening and trusting our bodies in our breath a little more. Keep 
One more breath here. Exhaling everything out. And then lunging forward here when you're ready. Curling the back toes under. Let's go ahead and spread the fingers wide. Right leg goes up and back to open the hip. We're going to gently bend and kick. Stretch it out. Shake it out. Bend that right knee. Uh, stacking above the left hip. Press into your fingertips and your palms equally. Shoulders square. Another deep breath here. Open that hip. Exhale, right knee towards your right shoulder. And then foot towards the wrist. Hover. Shoulders stack above wrist in your floating pigeon. And then slowly make your way down to uh, pigeon pose. So from here, we want that left thigh bone reaching forward. Lengthen the spine as we inhale. Scoop the belly in. Exhale, gently bow forward, fold. Over that leg, again, maybe resting your forehead onto your fists or your hands or the, uh, the ground blocks. You can also lay this back. If you feel any pressure on that front knee, flex that right foot over top of the left in the figure four. Just coming to a place that is manageable. Breathing deeply. And also notice your weight. Notice if you're kind of sitting off or cocking off to one side or the other, or rolling to one side or the other. Try to center, recenter your hips and your weight between both legs equally. And pulling that back thigh bone forward would, will help to center. Take some big, full, expansive breaths into the lower back, the hips, and anywhere else that may need some healing or attention. As we come back to a very grounded posture, this also helps us to ground in ourselves and be able to trust in ourselves and our intuition and to trust that we are held and supported and safe and secure. And you have this innate capacity within you to be stable, to be strong. That you are stable, you are strong. You are supported. your next deep slow breath in slowly make your way back up again and as we exhale let's swing that left leg all the way around to the front over top so again we can cross here in your um fish sorry not fish pose uh, marichiasana you can extend that right leg out in front of you if you need or keep it tucked under as long as you can keep both hips on the mat or on the ground left arm behind right arm up in hand and exhale again, we can hug the thigh in, scoop the belly in, lengthen as you inhale. Again, and exhale, twist, releasing spine and neck. One more breath here. Exhale, 
release, a gentle twist to the other side, gently pressing against the foot or ankle as we inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist from the core, drawing navel to spine, in and up. Beautiful, and releasing the legs, this time out in front of you. Let's come forward and rock onto the sit bones. You made it, great work. And we're gonna press down through your seat. Take a nice deep inhale, pull the toes up and back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, draw the chin in towards the throat. Dandasana, lifting. So as the toes pull back, we feel the lift in your core as you press into your seat. Let's take our next breath in, root, root down to reach up. And as we exhale, paint out in front of you through your palms. That's your head. So we're going to fold from the hips. Fold from the hips, flat back as we can. Even if we need to bend our knees, tuck the chin towards the throat, rounding the upper spine, deep cleansing breaths into our back bodies here. Sort of curling in ourselves. And with each breath, feel as though that breath is so big and full that you could fill this entire, your entire building or wherever you are, the entire space around you with that breath. And it's not an aggressive breath. It's a very so deep and expansive, but almost as if even the breath or the air would not disturb another soul or being or fly around you. It's so slow and smooth. It's so expansive and enveloping. And you are that space of love. One more breath here, lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, slowly rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae. Take it down slowly. Release the arms, the head and neck. Turn your head side to side. You need to massage your neck with your fingertips. Feel free. Or if you need to stretch your neck, you can bring your chin in, hands behind the head, and just do a very slow turn, side to side, keeping the chin in towards the throat. And just listen to what is actually needed here. Walk your feet up onto the ground, knees up, and uh, bring your hands underneath the low back legs. Go ahead and wiggle the sits bones apart. And then stretch the legs out once more. So wiggle out your shoulders or whatever you need, arms down by your sides, palms facing up perhaps, or you're welcome to rest them once again on your body. If you need to keep your attention inward. So as we settle in once again, back into the earth, Feel the weight of your body, surrender, and give yourself to the earth, dropping in. Feel the effortlessness of your breath. Allow the eyelids to grow heavier. Allow the eyes to also sink back into the back of the skull. Begin to feel the, the hips and shoulders, the arms and legs grow even heavier. Still the chest is very light. Breath flowing, rising and falling effortlessly like ocean waves. And you're able to just freely ride the waves.
intuitively knowing when to move and when to be still. Fully supported. Everything you need, you already have. Our healing and abundance, love are infinite and available to you. And you have the infinite capacity to also love and heal and give freely and generously and unconditionally. Taking a couple of slow, deep breaths. I encourage you, if possible, to stay lying in stillness and meditation for as long as you wish. 
Or perhaps if and when you feel ready, you can gently awaken fingertips and toes. Slowly, gently walking feet back up onto your mat. And perhaps hugging the knees, wrapping the arms around the legs, giving yourself a nice big hug. Tucking the chin slightly in, lengthening and feeling the whole length of your spine from the back of the neck all the way down to your tail. Rooted to the earth. And rolling over onto your right side into a fetal position. Take a couple of slow deep breaths here. We come back to this symbolic rebirth. As we take our next deep exhale, pressing into your left palm to slowly rise. And keeping the eyes closed and gaze inward as we find a nice, tall, and comfortable seat. Once again, take a few moments here, observe what you feel as you breathe, allowing the heart space and chest to be broad and open. Perhaps settling into an energy of appreciation and gratitude for our body's capacity for this moment for the presence to recalibrate and to balance and harmonize. This amazing connection that we have. Bringing the hands together by our heart center and Anjali Mudra, our prayer. And lifting the heart slightly up towards the hands as we bow the head in towards the heart. Taking a few deep cleansing and nourishing breaths here. And sealing our practice and our intentions with gratitude. And if you'll join me with a round of Om with this. this vibration and sound, this expression of oneness with all that is, the vibration of the universe. Inhaling as you're ready. We'll exhale to empty, slowly and completely out first. Deep, slow breath. Oh, normally to the light and the teacher that dwells within each and every one. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.